Heliopedia. Now, if you haven't already noticed, the thumbnail is from my old save, but I'm starting a new save just for this video. <laughs> okay. Let's get his nose. <laughs> yeah, right. So this, if you haven't played this game before, you can follow me for tutorial. <laughs> So yeah, like you saw on the thumbnail, I'm gonna be destroying stuff at the end. <laughs> but at the start, I'm gonna actually try and do something. So in my old save, I learned that um, if you spam seeds, regular seeds, then you'll find eventually you'll get some watermelons, as long as ferns grow, which will take all the water away from the planet, because you normally struggle with water. I find that problem. So, go like that. Go to the nearby asteroid belt and take some coal. So, yeah, ice. Cool. Oh, I get a star every time I find something new. So, take a lot of coal. I like how it's displayed as question mark, question mark, question mark, while we don't know it. As soon as we touch it, we see what it is. Oxygen makes a funny sound when you collect it. It makes like a bouncing sound. That's cool. Oh, I guess I'll just collect it from behind. Yep, this is gonna take a while. At least you don't have to visit these many times. I've seen a video that goes all the way to the end, but I'm not going to give you any spoilers once at the end. Although I do actually know, because since I've seen a video. Okay. Yeah, I have. I have seen a video. Where they go to the end. Okay. If you want spoilers, you can tell me in the comments. I found out why the rest of the comments weren't working, especially. It's because when I turn when I turn made for kids off on my computer, it allows comments instantly. But on my phone, if I'm uploading it with YouTube or Power Director, basically YouTube as well, then uh, it still it it doesn't it doesn't allow comments even if you say it, it's not made for kids. Give the sun a mm -hmm. cool mm -hmm. swallow it. Mm -hmm. Can I just eat it? Eat it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
didn't already know, you actually have to put a matchstick on the ground before you use it to ignite something. See, there's not an ignite option. Except if I throw it and then catch it. This should bump up the climate a little bit. Guess I'm waiting. But yeah, they leave behind ashes as well. Ah, I can show you a trick. You can bump up the fertility by adding ice and on top of those ashes. Lively place. Now, who a cloud? I got a cloud. That's cool. Ooh. They don't immediately dissolve. They kind of like hatch it. Well, it's dissolving. Well, it's turning into water. Puddle. Puddle. Puddles. Just need one more thing. Carbon dioxide. Yeah. Now I can go back to the sun. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it is. Seeds! Mm -hmm. Solar seeds! Always useful! Dot dot dot! Da, 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 da. Always useful. Yep, they are. Let's take seven seeds. So yeah, like I said, let me show you how to make water. We just need a little bit of a lot of water. Uh, first, you grow some ferns. Then you plant more seeds right around the fern. Well, that's not ferns, that's grass. <laughs> it has for fern. It has for fern, not grass. I think we're gonna need to do a little bit more igniting. Just give this planet six more oxygen. One of the fuels, one of the many fuels. And we're probably gonna want more eco friendly fuels, but uh. Is that the flowers or is that just the grass? Is the grass making those flowers? Or is it actually something new? Flower! Flower! Dioxide, don't say. Turn into nitrogen. What is that? 
It's a watermelon sprout thing. That's a watermelon plant. That's a watermelon sprouting, isn't it? If you see a little stem like that, it's a watermelon sprouting. Normally. Wait, no. It's sprouting, it's sprouting more seeds. It just sprouted more seeds. I've never seen that happen before. A plant sprout more seeds. Maybe these aren't watermelons. What? I haven't seen that before. I don't know why I'm laughing because I'm I just don't remember the text. I've already seen it before, but I don't remember. Mm -hmm. That's 
That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> Luckily. Mm -hmm. Why well, you don't like pets? You don't like insects here. getting turned into nitrogen. Go take all the humidity away. Yes, watermelon. I like those. I like those. I don't actually eat them. I don't actually eat them in real life. No, I don't. Yeah. You'll see. There's fern. And there's watermelon. Grows near ferns, absorbs water from the ground. Nature, materials, iron ore, gold. And if you get an active volcano, you can actually throw iron ore in it apparently to uh, smelt the iron. That's why it says that iron ore smelts in very high temperatures. 
Volcanoes have very high te temperatures, which actually makes sense when you think about it. It actually makes sense that you throw iron ore in the volcano. So yeah, my thumbnail was actually of an old save where I completely drowned the planet in water. A very, uh, private thumbnail. Except, uh, well, there was like a like, weird explosion thing that I had to uh, confused about. And then, uh, yeah, the planet got covered in water and it got really hot. And it seemed like there was a bunch of volcanoes sporting. Somehow the bunnies were humidity away and turn it into watermelons so you can't actually grow watermelons although if you have a bunny and it digs a hole then um you can plant a watermelon in the hole that's the only way to plant watermelons because you can't grow them by just planting them in water now that doesn't work you have to throw them in a bunny hole or a hole well there are multiple creatures that make holes so yeah, if you throw a watermelon in a hole, it grows into a palm tree, which is really confusing. Your nuts also rarely grow into palm trees. I tried to do that, but then I discovered bunnies and holes that they make, and I just threw a watermelon in, and it grew into a palm tree. I saw a sapling, but it was dead, so I tried I tried to find a way to make another one, and I found how to make well, these, I think these watermelons are actually moving images, not actually spheres that have been made. I think they're just an image that rotates in the right way of your camera. Huh. I think I'm probably going to be ending this one early. So, I think I know what we're going to be doing already. Try to burn a planet. Watch all the oxygen just goes away. And then I'm gonna try and add a lot more stuff back. Gonna try and yeah, add all the water back by uh, constantly adding water onto it. Like yeah like I just need ice on it. I might reheat the planet up a bit. Because... What? Some coal got yeeted into outer space? <laughs> that was funny. Okay. Yeah, I really like my water planet. It feels really funny. Water? 
This is how I made my giant water planet. I took a planet that had a lot of water on it. So I made a temperate lake. So I took a planet like this and I hope this doesn't get too cold for ice melt. And that's how I got my planet. I just kept kept throwing ice on. I had like a hundred ice. And so that's yeah, temperate ocean, Arctic ocean. Eventually, this will freeze if it gets warm enough. I would expect the water to freeze about now because uh, water freezes below zero degrees Celsius. It is already below zero degrees. Is the ice actually gonna melt? What? That doesn't make sense. And now I have to merge the watermelons. Yay! Come on. The ice is actually melting! Oh, so I didn't actually have to do all that reheating. I could just throw all the ice on. Do you have to speed up this really like, hard lap today if you want? So I'll set that up for you. Also, in case you're wondering how to speed up the video, basically go to like the options, and uh, yeah, then you select playback speed, then you select how much you want to speed it up. So now you know how to speed it up, let's begin the time lapse. But well, you're gonna have to speed up the video first. So here's the second video. Right, time starts now. A piece of ice just flew off this planet. Let's grab it back. No. A volcano is happening. <laughs> it's going up. <laughs> yep, and the climate, the climate is as low as possible. Volcano that have the question marks. 
Yes, the volcano that has all the question marks. Oh. I found my solution. First, I throw the coal. Yes, I'm seriously gonna put 27 coal on the planet, then add 27 oxygen. Then, all my ice will melt. Hopefully. Why my cursor's going over there? It's because whatever. We might as well just continue. 
Why does it just stop it over 